Welcome to the Azure Enablement Show. This is a second episode in a two-part series where we talk about artificial intelligence, or AI, and why adding AI skills is important for your dev toolbox. Welcome back. My name is Aaron, and today we'll look at the training resources available to developers who want to build AI-enabled apps. In the first episode of this series, we discussed why knowing how to develop AI-enabled apps is a crucial skill for developers. Be sure to check that out if you haven't watched it yet. In the description below, you'll find some fantastic resources to get you started, whether you're new to AI development or looking to expand your knowledge into developing generative AI features for your Azure workloads. If you have any questions or comments about this episode, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hit the like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss any future episodes. Joining us today is Natalie from the Azure Skilling Marketing Team to help guide us on our learning journey. Welcome, Natalie. Thanks, Aaron. I'm glad to be back with you today. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to have you. In our last episode, we covered some of the AI fundamentals and generative AI for beginners. Today, can you talk a little bit about what resources Microsoft has for devs who want to build AI apps? Yes, you're right. We did cover a lot of fundamentals and a lot of our resources in the first episode. Highly recommend for anyone who missed that, check those out. We've got a lot of great free resources there available. Now, the resources I want to go into today are, yes, they're directed at folks who maybe have a little bit more experience and are ready to get into the actual building part of this work, of building those AI apps. So the first resources uh, that come to mind for me, I'm going to talk about two of them today. I'm talking about the collection. Uh, this collection is based on Microsoft Learn modules and learning paths. And then the second resource we're going to talk through is a Microsoft Reactor series on AI. So let's take a look at the first resource that we have available, which is a collection of free learning modules and docs. So let's go take a look. This official Microsoft collection that you can see here uh, is really focused on taking you through all the different resources that we have available. As we scroll down, you'll see ways that you can start your learning journey with Azure AI services and all the way through understanding working with data and AI with our Azure Cosmos DB, and also talking about man deploying and managing your applications with Azure Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea of what some of these resources actually look like, we're gonna take a look at this Develop Generative AI Solutions with Azure OpenAI Service Learning Path. So let's jump over there real quick. Now I wanna show you what one of these learning paths actually look like that's part of this learning collection. This learning path, which is our Develop Generative AI Solutions with Azure OpenAI Service Learning Path, includes several different modules that make up this entire learning path. Let's take a look at the first one, which is about getting started with Azure OpenAI Service. This includes everything from an overview of using Azure OpenAI Studio, all the way to using prompts, testing models, and most importantly, it includes a 20-minute exercise that gets folks actually hands-on experience. The next step is learning how to build those natural language solutions and also applying prompt engineering with Azure OpenAI service. This builds out on experience. So even if you're starting with, a, with just that beginner knowledge, you're gonna be guided through this whole entire process. Erin, the second resource that I wanna take you through is our Make Azure AI Real. This is from Microsoft Reactor. It's a learning series that comes with live streamed or on-demand videos that's gonna take folks through the ins and outs of building AI apps. We've got events, training, and community resources here that are for folks who are working in startups, or maybe you're an entrepreneur, or maybe you're a developer working for a big tech company. Doesn't matter. All of these resources are, are available for you, and I wanna take a look at some of the subjects that they're covering. If we look at one of the events from November 29th, we've got building natural language processing solutions with GPT powered AI language. We're talking about building apps with rich conversational AI experience, which is so important today, taking advantage of this natural language processing component. You can see some of our awesome speakers we've got from Microsoft. And you can even take a look at some of the other events that have already taken place. I'm really excited to be sharing this resource. And I just think this, some of these videos will just be a great launching pad for folks who are ready to start building their apps. 
And as always, Erin, as I've mentioned before, our AI learning hub on Microsoft Learn is truly the one-stop shop for getting all of those resources. It will go through new technology that we're offering and through Azure. We're talking about different modules and learning paths and certifications that will keep you up to date on everything that we have to offer you. Uh, and of course, that's available on Microsoft Learn, as I mentioned. Incredible. Thank you so much for sharing all of that, Natalie. I just love that Microsoft has such um, amazing resources, whether you want to learn about AI, specifically generative AI, or how you can leverage these different services to build new AI-enabled apps. Uh, can you tell our viewers where they can find uh, some of these different resources? Yep. As I mentioned before, it's really taking a look at our AI learning hub. That's learn.microsoft.com slash AI. Again, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you. And thank you to everybody who's watching. Remember, if there are any questions for us, please add them to the comment section below. And be sure to check out learn.microsoft.com for more great training content.